All right, I've, I've fucking seen enough, man. We're, this game's over. We're going to lose. Uh, there's there's time left in this game. There's like five minutes left, but we're never gonna we're never gonna fucking touch the ball again on offense. I don't even know where to begin recounting this 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 game. This has been an absolute just insanity. I mean, what we just saw just before this, just before I. Now we're giving up first downs, and, and they're never, we're never going to get the ball back. We get we get a fucking first and goal. Conklin almost fumbles the ball. Or, I mean, he did fumble the ball, but we recovered it. We call two runs up the middle with Alexander Madison. Because Dalvin Cook's out of the game. He's, Dalvin Cook's season is probably over. And we call two runs up the middle. There's another first down for the 49ers. Fuck this game. Um... We, we call two runs up the middle with Alexander Madison, and I'm sorry, he, Alexander Madison might be a decent person. He's not. He's not. He, he, you can't. He can't be your featured running back. He can't. You can't do with him what you do, what you do with Dalvin Cook. You can't. And we, and we waste two plays. Almost every play that has involved Alexander Madison for like the last two months has been a complete fucking waste of time. And you ran. You, you're in a goal to go situation. You have to score and get a two to have any chance in this game. And you run two plays. You waste two of your four downs running up the middle with Alexander Madison. And then there was a third down that that uh, was incomplete, and then they, you know, they, and here's another, oh, look, here's another here's another gaping hole for nine more yards on the ground. We're never touching the ball again. This fucking game. This fucking piece of shit game. And, of course, we had him pinned deep after a fourth and goal, but, you know, I mean, they're, they're, in, they're in our territory now that... This we're never touching the ball again. We're gonna be five and six and injuries piling up. And I don't like I don't disagree with going forward fourth and goal there because you'd be in the same position right now. You'd be you'd, they'd be running it down your throat just to get a winning field goal. So I, I agree with going for it. But for some reason we call a play that has Kirk rolling out to the side that has only one option and it's I think it was Jefferson in the back of the end zone. It, it, there's no other option. He's Fourth and goal, and you give you give a guy, you give your quarterback one option, and it was incomplete because it's it's like one one of our guys and like five of their guys, and, and it's incomplete, and the game and the game is over, and now we give him a first down on a fucking offsides. So many fu- so it's 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 been a, it's been the story of every fucking loss this year, shooting ourselves in the fucking foot. Joseph blows a PAT earlier, so then we go for two to try to make up for it. We don't get the two. And even with that, we probably would have still been going for a fourth and goal there, but it's like, it's just, un- it's just unbelievable. How it just... There's, there's barely three minutes left in this game. It's over. It's over. We've lost this fucking game. I mean, we've had we've had some we've had, un, I mean, every loss we've had this year has been incredibly frustrating. This, the, I mean, this might be near the top because it's really a damaging loss. Not because the of the loss, because we're still going to be in a playoff spot at the end of the day. But Dalvin Cook's season is probably over. Uh, Darisaw got hurt. I don't think it was real bad, but he's you know he got hurt. Barr got hurt again. You know, we're already depleted, and this game has been exactly what we thought it would be as far as 49ers running the ball. They've, they've run down our throats. I'm sure they're over 200 yards on the ground. And now we don't have any timeouts left, so I mean, they're, bit, they're, li- they're literally like one first down away from just kneeling this shit out. I mean, this game has just been chaos, absolute chaos. We were leading 14-7. Remember when we were leading 14-7 a long time ago? And then we get, we have just a disgusting end of half. I mean, we, we all talk about the end of the half shit. Um, 
you know, when we constantly giving up points in the end of the second half, this might have been the worst because we had him in like a second and 20, you know, in, in long field goal range after a, after a holding penalty, and we just give up chunk play, chunk play, boom, they're in the end zone. And, and then we just, and then they just run it down our throats to start, to start the, uh, start the third quarter. Kirk throws a pick. It's a terrible fucking pick. Probably the worst play he's made all year. And they score again. We get the Dalvin play where he's hurt. It's it's like the ultimate bad play. Udo gets fucking murdered. So, alright, third and three. I guess we stopped him, but it's fourth and... It's fourth down in there in field goal range, so I mean, they could do whatever here after the two-minute warning. They could either kick a field goal or they can, or they can go for it. If they go for it, they'll make it. If they kick the field goal, they'll make it. Either way, the game's over. We've lost. We're five and six. Um, but you know, the Dalvin injury play, you know, it's it's like the worst play you could imagine. Udo gets fucking destroyed. Push back into Dalvin. Ball gets knocked out. Dalvin gets hurt. They they get the ball. Luckily, we held him to three. The only reason this is even still a game is, we, is the defense managed to manage to hold him to to three. Um, they almost got a touchdown. I think that was the one where they got the they got the they had they had a touchdown, but they they reviewed it and the guy's knee was out. I don't know what and just play get lost and everything. There was a clear play where we had. A pass completion to Thielen. Clear as day, it's a catch. They rule it incomplete. Zimmer challenges it. The replay shows clearly that it's a catch. They come back and say, no, it's not a catch. So that's why we don't, That's why we just used our last time out, because the referees fucking stole one from us. This game has been horribly officiated. What a shock. It ain't the reason, it ain't the reason we're about to lose and be 5-6, and six, but Jesus fucking Christ, this game has been horribly officiated. Obvious, obvious fucking hold. One of the most obvious hold you'll ever see on the first 49ers touchdown. It's fucking infuriating, but... With the amount of shit that's gone against the Vikings today, it's amazing that this, that this game's even remained in doubt. I mean, it's not in doubt, because they're going to either convert fourth down and kneel it out, or kick a field goal, and, and that's it. But... With the low zone team, go for it. Like we knew they were going to struggle. We knew they were going to struggle stopping the run. They struggle stopping the run even when everyone's out there. The the, and not everyone's out the there. Team, win the home game. And the you know, Garoppolo's hit day. just enough throws. You know, we had we've had some pass rush on him. Haven't gotten home. I think we got a couple sacks, but we do, we haven't been getting home on the pass rush. And he's hit just a few throws, and that's all it's taken because they've just been dominating on the ground. You know, and we missed just a couple plays. And the Kirk Cousins, Drangel Center people, they were out in force. They, they, they were fucking coming in their pants when Kirk threw that interception. It was a terrible fucking play. But you, it's, it's unbelievable. The first fucking mistake, the first big mistake like that, that he makes basically the whole fucking season. And oh my God, the vultures swarm. Fuck you, Kirk Cousins haters. All of you. Just fucking drop dead, all of you. You're so worthless. <sighs> Well, let's let's see what happens here. They're going for a field goal. They're gonna, be, yeah. Oh, and Gold kicked a field goal earlier. It doinked, but it went in because, of course, for the other team, it always doinks and goes in. For for us, it never works out that way. Uh, so was it 42 yards? This will be, and this, for all intents and purposes, will be the end of the game. Okay, it's not the end of the game, and we're now going into live reaction. <laughs> Because of course that's how it's gonna happen. This game is ridiculous. You know, of course. You know what? A field goal would have made it more than a one-score game. We can't lose more than we can't lose one more than a one-score game. So all right, fuck it. Let's get let's get in position. All right, we're in position. We're driving. What's going on here? Deep ball. Jesus. Caught by JJ. Is this actually going again? Yeah, okay. 
What is happening? Even there, fucking JJ almost drops the goddamn ball. Best fucking receiver in the game, he almost drops the fucking ball. Incomplete to, to Madison. Stop throwing the ball to Madison. Kane Wong Wu. Kane Wong Wu. We need him. Wong Wu run a, ran a kickback again. Because he's the fucking man. He needs, he needs to be the running back. If Dalvin's out for the season, which I think he is, um, yeah, yeah. that needs to be that needs to be uh, RB one. So, so what? Oh, well, so we set here. One fifteen to go. Uh, where, where are we on the field? Ball to forty. I mean, we got time. Out of bounds, Madison. Idiot, fucking idiot, can't even get out of bounds. Every play, every play that involves Alexander Madison is a waste of time. And now it's a third down and long, and the clock's running. And now it's going to be fourth down. And, and why? Because you wasted another play using Alexander Madison. All running backs are not created equal. Alexander Madison is not good. Yeah, it probably was P.I., but what the fuck? This game has not been officiated well at all. So this is it. Now fourth and eight. And it's incomplete. Wasn't I mean, it was kind of a decent enough throw, I guess. But that's it. We lose five and six. Miss the they missed the field goal just so they can just the, it's just the way it is. They gotta give us a little bit of extra hope just so we can stick the fucking dagger in. I mean, you, you threw it to Jefferson, that's the guy you want to throw it to. So, all right, we're off for this thing. Here. Why don't we keep up the one score game streak? What a fucking frustrating loss. I mean, a lot of ways we didn't deserve to even have this last chance. I'm not I'm not I'm not so much worried about this game for for losing this game. It sucks to lose it. It's it, you know the, the the win would have meant the win would have meant more good for you than the loss means bad. But the way they lost and the, specifically some of these injury things specifically Dalvin because we've seen when this this when we don't have Dalvin Cook for long stretches that can really fuck us over. Um, Concern on both sides for the injured and, players, Dalvin Cook and Debo Samuel. You know, season ain't over, but this this loss hurts because this. I mean, they've all hurt. We've we've got six losses this year. Every single one of them has hurt. I mean, we we don't have any losses where you feel like, well, we just got completely destroyed or something, or we got completely outplayed, and we had no business winning it anyway. This is just how it is this season, but. Man, that fucking sucks to lose this one because, you know, look, you got to come back now. We got, we, you know, we got to come back next week, beat Detroit. I mean, God forbid we lose that game. If we lose that game, then that's, that's going to be the end of the season and that's going to be the end of a lot of careers. We still have, we still have, I think, four very, very you know, should be easy wins. I mean, I know nothing's easy, but they should be wins. Bears twice, Steelers. Steelers got fucking destroyed today. There's no reason you can't blow out the Steelers at home on a Thursday night. And we got the Detroit game. Thank you for making Luther White Bear Subaru and Minnesota's number one volume sales leader four years in a row. This, this was this was this was always going to be a tough matchup. I didn't pick them to win today. This is going to be a really tough matchup with who you're playing, the way they play, and who you don't have. And you know, I'm sure Kirk's going to get all the blame because he didn't have a, he didn't have a perfect game today. He missed a couple of plays. You know, 
I'm sorry. He he's not, he's not Jesus. He's not going to hit every throw every single game. Don't want you to call us. Occasionally, someone else rules, is going to have to do something to help you. And we can. If you've been injured, call us right I'm sure now it's all going to be talked about that Kirk missed the through the pick, and he missed on the on the the fourth down, and he missed on the two. Welcome and that's all that's going to be talked about. Vikings, not saying Kirk had a great game. He didn't have a great game. This was, this was one of his weaker games of the year. But part of it is you're not on the field. I don't know what the time of possession ended up being, but the time of possession was not good. I'm Kenny Alvin saying so long from Levi Stadium now to the conclusion of the Packers and the Rams to Lambo we go to Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Packers are winning. Good for them. Good for, uh, good for them. I mean, the Rams are falling apart now. I think the Rams are only going to be like a game up on, on, on the field. Like, you know. It is what it is. Like people, you know, like the vultures are out. They were waiting for Kirk to have to, to Kirk to slip up even a little bit. And you know, I don't like the play calling today. I don't like a lot of what they did. I don't like the fact that you know, they're they're running the ball up the middle with Alexander Madison in in a must score touchdown situation because Madison's not going to break off an eight yard run up the middle on a. On a on a decent defense to score a touchdown. He's just not, and I don't know why they're doing it. You know, I don't like the, I didn't like the play call on the fucking fourth and goal. I didn't like, I, you know. Completion of 11 yards. Now they are. Offensive line was okay. I mean, they weren't as bad as, they, they certainly weren't as bad as they were in the playoff game two years ago, but, like, you need, you need more. You need more from, you need more from everybody, including Kirk today. But you can't, I mean, it's, it's completely unfair whether it's Kirk Cousins or Aaron Rodgers or whoever else. You can't ask your quarterback to be 100% perfect every single game, week in, week out. It doesn't work that way. And we got almost nothing from any other aspect of the game today. Defense was terrible. Defense was, you know, defense was up. And I know it was going to be that way because the defense was going to get run over because of the matchup and the personnel. That was just that was just a fact of life. There was no situation where we were going to shut down their run game today. It was never going to happen. And we and it didn't. I don't know what the I'll see what the total was. I'm sure it was I'm sure it was over 200 yards rushing. You know, and then but then secondary didn't play well. They gave up too many too many plays, too many pass plays. They gave up just too much. They were lucky not to give up another touchdown, the one where the where the guy's knee was out. Like that, you know, slightly better placement of his feet or something, and that's a touchdown, and then there's never even that last drive. And, you know, this, this, you know, they got nothing, they got nothing from the secondary. But the only thing you could say was decent today was the pass rush, but we didn't get home enough. We didn't get, we only got a couple sacks. We just didn't get home enough. We got one, we got the one pick uh, early off of, off of Garoppolo, you know, and we turned that into a touchdown. Of course, even that took a fourth and goal, you know. But, you know, it fucking sucks, man. We should, this, that, I don't feel like this was like, an absolute win that we gave away quite to the degree that some of these other ones were like we complete like because we we were playing from behind the whole second half but like like it wasn't it wasn't like Dallas where we just completely gave it away or even Baltimore where we gave it away um, um or yeah, obviously Arizona where we have a winning field goal and it goes wide you know I, like I don't know it's it's fucking frustrating and it's it's maddening because it's maddening because we've got we got some key injuries. If Dalvin Cook's out for the season, which I think he is, and I'm not I'm not a fucking doctor, but I mean, when, if you got to bring a card out for a guy, like I thought it was a leg thing because it looked like his leg was kind of flopping around there. I guess maybe I guess it was a shoulder injury, but even that, like, if he's out, like. I'm sorry, Alexander Madison can't get it done. He can't. 
He can't. He's not. He's not yeah, good. Even if they pick up the first down and get a new set of downs, he's the just, clock he's just is still running. Good. I mean, nothing changed really from what like, we just saw. Other than they get the next snap off a little bit quicker, but they're battling the clock. I would, I would hope they would use uh, Wong Wu in in, in well, the run game if the if Dalvin's out. Then if you don't make it, stops the clock. Adrian the ball Peterson's ball available again. We can go pick him up. So and I'm only half kidding when I say that. And we all know but I mean, this isn't a season killer because because you, you've gotten yourself back in position, and you know the Eagles lost today, the Saints lost on Thanksgiving, Panthers lost. Like you're still you're still you still have an advantage over some of these other teams. You obviously don't have an advantage over the 49ers now, but you know. I know it's gonna be skies falling. It's gonna be skies falling. And Kirk sucks, and you know, like they're they're all doing it again. Like it, it is so sickening to me the the fact that the first fucking mistake this guy made is playing a fucking MVP almost almost an MVP caliber season, slips up, throws a bad pick. It was a terrible pick, no question. Not just the timing of when it happened, because you had just got you just given up back to back touchdowns to end the second quarter, start the third, and then first play he throws the pick. It's terrible. But he's not he he's not perfection. You can't, you can't ask that of him. You can't ask that of any quarterback. They're asking it of Kirk this season, and he's come through most of the time, but he's not gonna come through every fucking time. And the way the vultures just swarmed immediately. It it's disgusting, and I fucking hate. I hate this fan base in media with, with their obvious hatred of Kirk. Like they were, like you could obviously tell they were just waiting. They were just waiting for this. They were just so. They were fucking coming in their pants when Kirk threw that pick. They couldn't have been happier. And and then he, you know, and then the the two where they went for the two, maybe he. They, People saying he could have run it in. I don't think he could have run it in, but you know, the better throw probably gets you in. It wasn't. It wasn't a great throw. Like, I'm sorry. He's he's not going to throw every pass perfectly and play every game perfectly. I know you think that like the next the next guy you're going to draft and taking the draft is going to do that. Well, guess what? Most of those guys suck. Most of those guys are are garbage quarterbacks like Justin Fields and Zach Wilson. Kirk's a pretty damn good quarterback. He had one of his weaker games today. Wasn't perfect. Got no fucking help from the run game whatsoever, even before Cook got hurt. Got no help from the fucking defense, helping him get back out on the field. And, I, and some of that was just, like I said, a fact of life. It was going to happen. There was there was no chance whatsoever that they were going to stop the run today. You had you had to just get out there and just chuck the fucking ball around, basically. You you, you know, like what was the? Or, I know it was at least like their first five drives. It was. Two touchdown drives and three three and outs. Like it's total feast or famine, and that's not you can't do it. Some of it's Kirk, a lot of it's the play calling, some of it's the offensive line, some of it's the run game not, not performing. It's just the way it, it's just the way it is. People don't want to hear it. People don't want to hear it that it's a team game. It's going to be all Kirk. I guarantee. I guarantee that failed sports station in the town. They're going to do nothing for the next week but, but talk about how Kirk Cousins sucks and how he lost this game for us. Like, not, even, not even close. Swap the quarterbacks today. This thing's a blowout. I'll take our guy over their guy. 100 times out of 100. Just fucking frustrating. Like, I didn't pick him to win today. I didn't pick him to win today, but I was still very confident they'll make the playoffs. I'm still very confident they'll make the playoffs. They have to take care of business. They have... They have four games left that I think are must, should should be wins and will be wins. Bears twice. I know the Soldier Field curse is a thing, but God damn it, you have to overcome it this year. You just have to. Lions next week. Lions next week is an absolute must. I mean, I mean, I mean screw the Vikings if they lose that game under any circumstances. I don't care who you have available. I don't care what happens, you have to win that game. And hopefully the fact that they damn near blew the one to Detroit earlier this year, they're not going to be like, oh, it's just the Lions, we can just show up and win. You better fucking not do that. 
and then that that Steeler game, you have to you have to beat their ass. You know, so it'll be what two weeks from, or no, not two weeks from today because it's, it's Thursday game. So like like ten days from now, they have to be seven and six. And then you have like you know after that, then you have like extra time to get ready for Chicago. The Rams are not exactly killing it, like. A lot of it's going to come down to who's who we got out there. Like, you know, are we gonna, ever going to just is, is injury thing ever going to stop? Like, part of my optimism for the Vikings this whole season, you know, especially going into the season, was like these these horrible injury seasons tend to be cyclical. It hasn't been cyclical. And you know, now if we have Dalvin out, I mean, we've seen we've seen them really, really struggle without Dalvin Cook as as an option. That's why I hope. I mean, I hope that I hope we see in Detroit a lot of Kane Wong Wu in the backfield. I don't want to see twenty five carries for Alexander Madison because guess what? He's going to run twenty five times for about sixty five yards, and it's going to do nothing for you. Cyber Monday is your last chance to score but, big online starting Sunday I night. I don't know if I'll do another video. This don't is pretty much game day. recap. I mean, I could recap every fucking thing that happened. There's so much. That third quarter alone was just absolute chaos with quick, big touchdowns and turnovers and injuries. And I mean, compared to that, the fourth quarter was almost calm until the fucking missed field goal that put me into a, re- a live reaction. Driving for real soon. I would have rather he just made the fucking kick, man. Why did we even have, have to have that last little bit of hope? Find new peace of mind. Such a fucking new bullshit. Roads. Chevrolet. All right, I will say one other thing about Greg Joseph. Look, he missed another PAT today. I mean. This guy, I, I don't think he tried a field goal. Um, and obviously it put him in a, a thing where they were chasing points a little bit. And they, obviously if they had scored on that last drive, they would have... Well, either of the last drives, they would have had to go for two there where they shouldn't have had to. But I don't know what you do with Greg Joseph. Like The, the, the same people who are pissed off are getting pissed off at, at the Vikings and at Zimmer for not cutting Greg Joseph now are the same people who light him up every time he does cut a kicker. They were lighting him up when he cut Blair Walsh. They were lighting him up when he cut Daniel Carlson. They were lighting him up when he cut when he got rid of Dan Bailey. Or when or when they made the, the trade for was it Kari Vedvik in training camp a couple years ago? Like you, you gotta pick you gotta pick a side. You can't you can't rip them for sticking with Greg Joseph. And also rip them when they get rid of a kicker. You have to fucking pick a side. Don't be a fucking hypocrite. So I don't know. If, I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. I mean, there was so much from this game. It's just it's just nauseating. It's a, it's a, it's a, and I don't think this. I don't think this was one where they feel like they completely blew a game that they should have won because they were again they were behind the whole the whole second half, but. You know, every close loss could have been a close win, and they've got six of them now. And I still think the schedule is very, very favorable for them to get. You know, I think if you get to nine and eight, you're going to get in. I just do because you're going to have you're going to have tiebreakers over everybody but the 49ers, basically. Um, and. The 49ers get their third street win, you know, knocking off the Minnesota Vikings earlier so, today. But or elsewhere, the Broncos I'm, I'm spent. This, this was a fucking irritating game. This wasn't so much a nerve-wracking game. It was just an irritating game. And I'm mad that we lost. I'm mad that people turned on Kirk Cousins at the drop of a hat. And I knew they would, but fuck this fan base for that. I mean... But you know, just gotta see, you know, let the let the dust settle from this. See who's who's available, who's not. You know, we had we had guys get hurt. Got guys who are already out. Maybe they'll come back. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with anything anymore. But 
hopefully we can, uh, you know, I mean, I say hopefully we can get back, uh, get back to our winning ways next week. If they don't get back to the winning ways next week, the season is 100% over. I don't care what the standings show. So that's all I got. Bad loss. We're five and six. Frustrating as hell. I'm, st- I'm still, I'd still ride with Kirk Cousins though. And he's gonna, he's gonna. St- if, if, any chance we had to come back in this game today, it was him giving us that chance. His presence gives, gives us that chance, and his presence will give us that chance to win the games we need to to still get in the playoffs.